Hey everyone, my name is Rowana and I am a student nurse studying a Masters of Nursing at the University of Sydney. For those who don't know, I am currently doing my first year of a registration program to become a registered nurse. It is a two year program and I am about five weeks into my first year. I wanted to make this video because there are some things that do scare me about this career path and I didn't want to just wave them away because I know that I will have to deal with those and I will have to somewhat struggle with those in the near future when I start clinical placements and I wanted to make a video just to highlight the fact that you can be scared of things and it is okay and even just talking about it with other people can help as well so I, that's why I wanted to do the video. If you're doing nursing or if you are in a highly stressful job or going into a career like that or even if you're scared about the career that you've got like the career path you're going into if you're at uni at the moment I'd love to hear about it and I'd love to know that I'm not alone <laughs> so yeah I think it'd be great to have conversations down in the comments below if you want to really there's four things that I'm going to highlight in this video that I am scared of when I become a nurse <laughs> first one is vomit. I don't mean like body fluids in general. For some reason, I'm happy to deal with um, poo, wee or urine. I'm happy to deal with blood. Doesn't faze me. I've watched surgeries before. I've been in surgeries before and I've never had a problem with seeing anything like that. Even in my anatomy classes, in my undergraduate degree, I had no problem looking at the cadavers. For some reason, <laughs> I really, really hate vomit though. Like I can't stand it. And I am getting better. Um, I know I'll have to get better because it's gonna be part of my job like daily. So I'm gonna have to get better. Yeah, it's just something that really scares me at the moment. I think one of the reasons that I really dislike it is because I hate being sick myself. I hate the feeling of being sick. I hate the sound, I hate the smell. And I think I've just really associated that with me feeling so unwell. So I think one of the ways that I can overcome it is just by getting exposure to that kind of environment. So being at clinical placements or helping other people if they are being sick, just practicing cleaning it up, things like that. I know it's gonna get better. Even now I know it's getting better. I've had to care for people recently that have been throwing up. I can get through it, it just scares me. So yeah, that's the first thing. The second thing that does scare me a little bit is being responsible for a patient. And I don't mean you're responsible entirely for their healthcare, that's what the doctor is there for and they're responsible for their treatment. But you are responsible for being an advocate for that patient, making sure that they are having the fairest treatment that they can get, also getting the treatment that they are not just deserving but also that they're looking for and that they want knowing that they understand what treatment they're getting, also watching out if something's going wrong. So being able to monitor a patient's vital signs and just knowing if something's not quite right. And that scares me because you might be the first person to notice that. And if you don't notice that, or if you notice it too late, then it scares me knowing that that could be a really big difference in terms of their outcome. I know that I will get better in time and I think there are also positives to being responsible for a patient and that's also one of the reasons why I wanted to become a nurse because I really wanted to be an advocate for my patients and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm going to be loving this job as well. So it does scare me but I think there's lots of positives to it too. The third thing that I am a bit scared of when I become a nurse is death and dying. It is something that I think scares a lot of people. Previously I have worked in a, an animal care industry where I have seen animals pass away and that does have an impact but I don't know how, like I've never seen a person pass away, I've never seen a dead person apart from the ones that have been preserved in like a, a, an anatomy class. And also someone that you had been talking to and then suddenly you're having to deal with that body after they've passed, it really does kind of freak me out a little bit. That's not to say that it scares me off so much that I don't want to do the job, but it is something that because I've never seen it before, I know that like the first time is going to be a bit of a shock. So yeah, another thing that does scare me. But in time, I know that, I mean, I'll never be completely desensitized, but I'll be able to deal with it a little bit better, I think. So that's that one. The last thing that I wanted to highlight in this video, the fourth thing that I am 
scared of is actually infections. So that's me getting an infection or even me passing an infection on to a sick patient. One of the reasons I'm so like worried about this is because it's completely invisible and you don't know necessarily whether you have passed something on to a patient because the incubation time between you passing it on and then developing symptoms is like it can be quite long so often you have no idea and that scares me because I don't want to impact on someone's ability to recover from their disease or whatever illness they have simply because I haven't taken the time or the care to have proper hand hygiene or protective practices in place to prevent people from obtaining these awful infections, especially when their immune systems are so weak in a hospital setting. And that's something that we've really highlighted in the first couple of weeks of my course is that hospital acquired infections are a really serious issue and they are most of the time quite preventable if you have proper hand hygiene techniques and protocols in place in the hospital or the healthcare setting that you're working in. So it is something that does scare me a little bit because I know that there are still problems in places um, in healthcare settings, not just in Australia, but around the world that are still having these issues. So that does scare me. Also just getting infections myself. I don't like being sick. I don't think anyone likes being sick at all. So the risk of acquiring like a bloodborne disease or even just the flu or something like that, because you're working in a high risk area and you're working where there's a greater chance of getting sick. So yeah, that does scare me a bit about working in a hospital as a nurse. So that's kind of the four things that do scare me the most about becoming a nurse. At the end of this video, I kind of wanted to talk about why those things aren't going to be putting me off when it comes to this career. So one of the first reasons why these things aren't going to put me off is because I actually want to have a career that's challenging. I want to be able to go to work every day and have something different going on and be challenged and not be bored. I want to be able to progress in this career and challenge myself to know that I can work hard and do well in the area that I'm working in. That's definitely a huge plus towards being a nurse and I don't think these things that scare me or anything that scares me about becoming a nurse is going to stop me from wanting to do it. Something else that is a really big factor about me wanting to be a nurse and not caring about the fact that I can get scared sometimes is that I really want to help people. And I think being a nurse is a really good way to do that, especially because you can be a really good advocate for those patients, especially when they're in a vulnerable position, if they're not able to speak up for themselves or advocate for themselves. So that's one of the reasons why becoming a nurse is really important to me. Even if I am scared, it's not going to take away from that. And that's why I still want to be a nurse. The last thing I want to mention is that I want a job that I find very meaningful and I think nursing kind of encapsulates everything that makes me feel like I'm doing something good in the world. I think being a nurse is a really meaningful and rewarding career. So that's it. Those are some of the things that do scare me about becoming a nurse. I hope they haven't put you off. I know they haven't put me off at all. I am loving the journey that I'm having so far. I'm only five weeks in to my two year program and it's been so good so far. Lots of work to do, especially because it's an accelerated master's program. So it's basically condensing three years into two. So it's very hands-on, a lot of work going on, but I'm loving it. It's so good. If you want to see more of these videos, then click the subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.